Hi, welcome to Next Day Solar. We're doing here a job in North London. As you can see, it's a beautiful property behind me and uh, it's a freezing cold weather. So this property is going to have a 7.7 .7 kilowatt uh, system and with two batteries. The batteries are a pylon tex and the inverter is a solid inverter, five kilowatt. And we're going to fit uh, 19 panels in total, 410 watts from uh, Canadian solar. And we're gonna be panels on a bit of on each roof. So we're gonna have this one behind me is the east elevation and you're gonna have six panels on this side. And then you're gonna have six panels on the south side of the property, which is going to be four panels panels on the pitch roof and two panels on the fly roof and then we're gonna have seven panels on the west side uh, facing up the property. So the total of the array is going to be a 7.79 kilowatt hour array. So now let's get into it. So the first step of the process is actually to measure the roof properly and actually fix the brackets on the rafters and also fix those fake uh, tiles that we use which are uh, made out of rubber. Also you can see that it's really a uh, frozen roof here that we're working with so uh, we have to be very careful and uh, we're moving a bit slower than we usually do but it's for the safety. The optimizers are connected, these are connected to the solar panel itself, the female and the male part, and this is where the optimizers are connecting, always from the next uh, optimizer, the same kind of cable connects over here, and that's how they link up as a chain. We're putting uh, two uh, sets together, one chain going to contain nine and the other contain eight of them. So we've mounted the inverter on the wall and now we're going to proceed to mount the various bits of isolation. We're going to mount a, a DC isolator for the battery, uh, the two pylon tech batteries there, and then we will mount a DC surge protection device for the two strings. And then on the other side of the inverter we have an AC board um, which encompasses the AC isolator. We'll have a surge protective device also for the AC side and we'll have the CT for the battery and also the feeds for CT and that will all just mount under the board there. So let me explain you how the optimizer works. So we have to add uh, every optimizer with the serial number, with the serial number of the panels. And we have this scheme to be sure that each panel has an optimizer with uh, the same uh, serial number. For example, we have this panel, that, that one is number 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The sun is down and it's getting very cold here and uh, we've come to the end of the first day of our installation. So far we've done the east side of the property and the south side of the property, so that's 10 panels. And we're going to do the rest of the panels tomorrow, so stay tuned. We started the second day of the installation 
Uh, we just done the flat roof uh, railings. We got the panels up here. We're waiting for the other side to be defrosted and to be safe to work on. But in the meantime, the flat roof is going to be ready. And with that, by, by four o'clock today, everything going to be in place and it's going to be commissioned. <laughs> so we just finished putting the panels on the flat roof and now what we have to do is put the panels on the west side of the property which is on the other side. So let me explain how the strings are working. The main issue was that because we only have two MPPTs to use and also we could just put only two strings and therefore we use the optimizers because you have a multiple facing roof so when uh, for example in the winter you have this side of the property having some sun it won't be the same case for the west side facing of the property so therefore we use the optimizers to actually limit that and cut them off when uh, those panels are not getting any sun. Like I said, on this property we're going to fit a solace inverter hybrid, and uh, which is uh, a 5 kilowatt an inverter. And we also fit in 4.8 uh, kilowatt hour batteries uh, from Pilotex, so each one of them is 4.8. And uh, here, and you have the main board with uh, the main switch uh, for the AC, and also a surge uh, protection for the AC. We've also fitted on this property a surge protection for the DC and that's because we want to protect it a bit more and this one uh, particular has a capability of being uh, remotely uh, monitored. So. so we've taken the cables from the solar panels from the front of the house which is west facing and we put them in a trunk in and now we're actually gonna run the cables from those west facing panels and then we are going to trunk it all the way down making them properly tied and uh, make them look very good. So as you can see, the sun is down and we just finished this property, which is 19 panels. And we've done that in two days, so that's really good. And also, uh, this is another property that won't require to use more energy from the grid. And thank you very much for watching our video and see you on the next one. Bye.